Hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Uh, for this installment, I have uh, purchased this from eBay. It was with, uh, it was free shipping with tax, all totaled $35, just a few cents shy of $35 spent. This is supposed to be 12 sealed 10 card Pokemon booster packs from Modern Era, which could be Scarlet and Violet or Sword and Shield packs. Uh, interestingly enough, in the, I guess, stock photo for the listing, just showing random packs, there were Sun and Moon Era packs, although you don't get those. But anyway, uh, it's uh, the seller claims you should have maximum of three packs from any sets. Uh, I'm hoping because, again, sealed parcel, I just put uh, cardboard over the shipping label, just the cover, uh, address information and whatnot. Uh, I'm hoping there are no, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, no trick or trade packs and no dollar store packs, which again, if they claim 10 card booster packs, you shouldn't receive any of those. So what I'm expecting is... Scarlet and Violet base set, uh, Paldea Evolved, possibly Obsidian Flames, Crown Zenith, maybe uh, Lost Origin and Silver Tempest. I believe those are the two cheapest Sword and Shield sets, but I'm, I'm guessing it's all Scarlet and Violet uh, packs, which I believe currently retail about $3 a piece, so it'd be pretty much face value for what you're getting. Um, I'm expecting zero hits, nothing more than hollow rares, if that, in any of the packs. So we'll cut this. And carefully so we can tear into this. Um, been watching Pokemon pack openings for the past year or two. I don't know why. So that's what you get. There you go. Lost Origin right away. And I do remember in the past seeing something about uh, some sets having booster boxes that were that could be mapped, and you could pull. All of the packs with hits. They have Astro Radiance, Darkness of Blaze. There's your Scarlet and Violet, which I expected. And the packs seem to be in good enough shape. Um, don't believe these have been opened and resealed. That one seems thin, but I've never opened Pokemon anything previously, so... I have zero expectations. Um, I'm just hoping that these are legitimate cards, legitimate packs. There's your Obsidian Flames. You got a Vivid Voltage, that's nice. One Paldea Evolved and a Silver Tempest. So we'll go with the, set these ones up here, I guess. So yeah, decent, uh, decent pack selection, I guess. These were what I was expecting, so at least you got more than that. So let's try to open, and again, I apologize. I never opened a single pack of these. And we'll also count the cards. Uh, they feel thinner than I was expecting. There's a code card if anyone cares. I doubt um, anyone will. But yeah, they seem like there's a little bit of corner wear on some of them. That could just be from the packs being thrown about. So you have a couple of reverse hollows and a regular hollow. Again, these are thinner. Um, I thought they would be more... Uh, cardstock but anyway 
get another one of these. Try to go through this quickly, but. And reverse hollow, reverse hollow, and a hollow. Code card. Reverse, reverse, and another hollow. So that's nothing from those packs. We'll do your one Paldea Evolve. Get that out of the way. Reverse, reverse, and another hollow. Coat card, obsidian flames. I just don't seem to want to open most of them. There's a reverse, a reverse, and we got a Tyranitar EX full art, possibly. Two star rarity. Actually, a, a decent looking card. So that's one, one hit, probably a $2 card. I'm not sure that Obsidian Flames has any value outside of the. Perhaps one Charizard card. Okay. Reverse Hollow. We got Pidgeotto. That's a character rare, perhaps. Forget the names of all of these again. I just I watch I watch videos, but I don't know anything when it comes to these. Couldn't tell you uh, any of these Pokemon or whatever they do. Another Serena Reverse, Squobet, and a Claydol Hollow, and there's a code card. So, two hits from those, that's, again, like no value return, but that's... I could say I wasn't doing this for the value, but I have no interest in these, so... I'd like to have something to possibly make some return, but anyway... Do your Silver Tempest, and then we'll just destroy the packs. We'll do the four cards from the back. Yeah, okay. There's Energy. There's a code card. Reverse Hollow Stunfisk and Non Hollow Victini. Astral Radiance. Rid of 
that right away. Code card. Four. Energy. Heavy ball. Ugly. See, these, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to go back through them. They seem like, and maybe they're the same. I don't know. Seem to be a slightly heavier paper stock than the others. Regagagagagus and a feeble non hollow. Lost Origin. Code card. Nose leaf, reverse hollow, and you got a Delphox V, just a regular V. These cards look nice, but again, they just feel. I guess that's what Pokemon cards are. We're learning something. Vivid Voltage, next. Code card. Energy. Clubble Plus, Clubble, and Shiftry, non hollow. And finish with Darkness Ablaze, which, ow. No effort whatsoever, that just completely like, fell open. And reverse facing code card. Black border, maybe something, I doubt it. Energy. Old PC, no, oh, that's neat. Darumaka. There's a reverse hollow fletchling and Nothing. Darumanatanatan. So there you go. That's uh, apparently 12 packs and $35 gets you hmm. I guess, yeah. Alright, well, thanks for watching and I guess perhaps I'll do this again. I, I don't have any idea, but thank you for watching anyway.